few days ago, uh, one is very hot, dry summer evening, I had to make a very short videos uh, in the garden okay, about mixtures of warm and the cold brewing for the green tea in this dry, hot summer day. Because the mobile phone I have is not very well and also the light was not very well. So I'm going to show you how I do it today. Okay. First of all, the tea I choose, the same tea as I used the other day, is organic green tea. With the cold brewing, I would strongly suggest you to select a tea which are organic quality because in this mixtures brewing, the rinsing tea, the first step of rinsing tea process is not necessary. Okay? And I use the same guy one. And the volume of the water inside will be 100 to maximum 110. So that means the portions between the tea and the water is one, one gram against a 50 mil, milliliter or maximum 60. Okay, it's subject to your taste as well. At the beginning, you will see that you have a, the lid on the gaiwa. And here I prepare a small pot which contains cold water. Like all the tea, you brew either the, the especially the warm or mixed warm, okay? It is very important that you first warm up your tea wet. And, but you don't need other teacups anymore because you're going to drink directly from Gaiwa. So you always warm up the your tea your teaware as usual. And in this process, I feel like I'm doing the meditation alignment and to calm myself down already. Because this tea, by knowing this tea, and I know that the, the weight of the tea leaf is high, because it's not flat shape, it's rolling. And this is a handmade uh, it's really in the most original, traditional way of making green tea, okay, without machine. So first I fill up Gaiwan for the about one-third. I put the warm waters in first, okay. Then you put the tea leaves in. And the tea leaf will quickly fall into the bottom because it's more heavy than the water. Don't use the lid back on. Why? Because to keep the green tea the color refreshing green, not so yellowish due to the oxidation, the, the heat going back. So we leave the lid open without closing it. You let the tea leaves suck it in, it's about one minute. So you don't have to worry about, oh, the water is, what is the temperature you use for the warm water? You know, when we do the tea charging, we use 100 degree. We don't use 60 or 80 degree, we use 100 degree. But this one, just use the water about 80 degree will be fine, okay? This is Chinese green tea. Chinese green tea need 80 degree minimum and then one minute later you put in the cold water scene the leaf were rolling in the water okay and you just let the, the tea soaking down again now 
Use your ring fingers to touch this one. You see, I can put my fingers there. Okay, and it's not, it's warm, but it's not hot. The aroma actually become finer than the very hot water earlier though. Now, when you drink it, this is the lid working. Put the lid to the side. Then you have your semi-warm green tea. It tastes sweeter, it tastes more gentle. And it is very good in the very dry, hot summertime. Try it. Remember, organic quality tea and the water temperature 80 degree for the Chinese green tea and only one third. Okay, and then you have two third is from the cold water. Have a nice day. This is Mei Lan from Belgian Chinese Tea Association.